The clock on top of the city and county building downtown is frozen in time. It's been stuck at 4.58 for a few weeks now. The clock, stock the clock stopped working after the tower was hit by lightning. The bolt fried the clock's computer system. And, well, Christine McCarthy, she's stuck in time. She's following the story. She joins us live from City Hall. Christine, does the city have plans to fix this tower? Is it always going to be 4.58? No, Chris, they do have plans to fix it. That will happen in just a few days. But for at least a few more days, it will remain 5 o'clock here all day long. Do you hear it? Ding dong, ding dong. It's the chimes at the Salt Lake City County Building. Oh, I can, but not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> or at least what Caitlin Campbell and Lucent Fox remember of the clock tower that's been in existence since the late 1800s. I like to take a stroll around downtown. It's just nice to walk through the parks. That is until last month when lightning struck the building during a city council meeting. I was walking home from work and like I heard it over my head and I just felt that thunder kind of roll through. I'm pretty sure I screamed and jumped out of my desk chair when it happened. And fried the custom built computer based circuit boards of the clock. New tech failed us. Freezing time in its place. But the clock had been stopped exactly at the moment of that lightning strike, which, as people have been noticing over the past few weeks, is about two minutes to five. Rather than opt for a more costly fix, the city decided to send the damaged parts to New York for repair. And as time stood still at the peak of Washington Square, the Back to the Future jokes rolled in. There's a lot of Marty McFly references. Along with excuses for Salt Lake City's drinkers. It's always five o'clock. It's always time to get drinks. Maybe it was a practical joke. <laughs> Crews will scale a fragile stairway to the tower for repairs on Tuesday. Until then, Caitlin and Lucent stroll through Washington Square will remain quiet for the most part. Ding dong, ding dong. And it's kind of ironic that those high-tech parts of the clock are what failed rather than the older hardware that has been there for years. But of course, those high-tech pieces are especially sensitive to such an electrical event. The good news, as you can see behind me, the rest of the building is intact. Chris, back to you. We must get back to the future. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. that, is that a bad impression of Doc Brown? I liked it, but I might be the only one. <laughs> Thanks, Christine.